Bitumen is used to impregnate and bond the pavement layers. Bitumen's properties resemble resin. Under normal conditions it's in solid state, and when heated it softens and loses its shape. Therefore, before using bitumen in road construction, it must first be heated. This causes emission of bitumen vapor and harmful substances to be released into the atmosphere. Unlike bitumen, bitumen emulsion is already fluid and does not require additional heating before use. This not only reduces the amount of harmful emission, but also reduces power consumption. The fluid state is facilitated by the presence of water in the bitumen emulsion. However, bitumen and water are not compatible under normal conditions. When water is added to hot bitumen, it will boil and splash out of the container. But if we break bitumen into small droplets, add an emulsifier that will prevent the droplets from sticking together, and then distribute them evenly in water, we can get a stable emulsion suitable for use in the construction and repair of highways. We will consider the production process of bitumen emulsion using a Globecore UVB-1 unit as an example. This plant operates with a base capacity of 8 cubic meters per hour and produces all types of bitumen emulsions for binding of pavement layers, surface treatment, patching and dedusting of dirt roads. The UVB-1 unit operates by preparing a water phase and its subsequent combination with hot bitumen. The emulsion production process begins with a concentrated mixture of water, emulsifier, acid and adhesive. The emulsifier prevents bitumen particles from sticking together. Acid is necessary to activate the properties of the emulsifier and the adhesive enhances the contact of bitumen with mineral materials that are part of road surfaces. These components are mixed in a 1 cubic meter tank using an injection mixer. The resulting concentrate is then mixed with the required portion of water in the second mixer, where the water phase is finally formed. Water is supplied from an external tank that is already present on the site. This solution reduces the overall dimensions of the plant, simplifies its transportation and makes the emulsion production process more flexible. The prepared water phase enters the injection mixer and is mixed with heated bitumen. To disperse bitumen droplets in the water phase, the mixture is passed through a hydrodynamic mixer, and the final stabilization of the bitumen emulsion is achieved in a rotary mill. The mill has been developed by the Globecore engineering department specifically for the production of bitumen emulsions. In the manufacture of its tools, we use high-precision, digitally controlled machines, which make it possible to reduce the gap between the knives and make slow breakdown emulsions with bitumen particle size below 1 micron. The capacity of the mill is redundant for added flexibility. Using previously prepared water phase, the UVB-1 unit can produce up to 22 cubic meters of bitumen emulsion per hour. In this case, the plant operates in semi-automatic mode. The operator presets the consumption of components by control valves, and then the emulsion production cycle runs without operator intervention. All important parameters are controlled by sensors, and information messages are displayed on the control panel. Also, the design of the UVB-1 unit provides for the connection of a latex injection unit. The additive is fed to the rotary mill, where it is dispersed in the emulsion and further improves the properties of asphalt pavements. What do you think about the use of latex for modifying bitumen emulsions? Leave your opinion in the comments. More information can be found on our website at www.globecore.com.